Hi everyone. Today we're going to look at the uh, recipe instruction within the Horner um, XL4 all-in-one controller. And if we look up onto um, our website, we're going to build on an existing program that we wrote a little while back, uh, and that was the uh, process mixer. So it's actually that PLC programming example process mixer. And on there, uh, it will actually take you through the logic in which we built this uh, um, mixer. And there's also a, a YouTube link. So this is actually what it is. We start and stop, and it fills up this process mixer. Um, and that mixes for so much time, and it will drain it. So that's exactly what we're going to do now with our XL4, our uh, all-in-one controller. So um, we're going to take exactly that same, and what we're going to do is modify a little bit, and what we're going to do is add recipes to this uh, program. And we're going to have three products to add, A, B, and C, ingredients, I should say. And we'll have four different products that we're going to make with different recipes. And the process or the, the cycle time is going to be similar to what you see there. So when we look at the, um, the screen itself, there's my screen one. We'll look at uh, here, here's my tank. So what we'll do is we will fill this tank up with a fill cylinder. It will uh, fill up and it will go past the low sensor up to the high sensor. Then it will add the ingredients, ingredients A, B, and C as well as turn on the mixer for so much time. Once that time is expired and the mixer time is expired, then it will open the drain and this will all drain out. Okay, so that's it. Um, we also have uh, the actual recipes themselves. On the screen, we have a load recipe that actually loads the recipes and, and what we'll do is go into that a little bit more. So if we get out of the um, HMI programming, go back to our PLC, if we go to the project navigator, and then under there we have recipes and I'll bring this over and what you will see is we have a chart and on this chart it shows that I have four products and we have a mixer time an A, B and C for our ingredients and what you'll notice is that um, this mixer time and everything we're going to be using a uh, 100 millisecond pulse flag, that means that this is actually 30 seconds, 1 second, 2 second, and 3 second. And what we do is we, um, if we go to edit, and you will see um, current recipe, um, if we look at um, that, you'll actually see our, our recipe name, which is mixer recipes, we'll enter a file name, because all of recipes reside actually on the micro SD card which is located right here and it's part of the memory module that's on the XL4. So what we're doing is we're creating these recipes they're being stored onto that micro SD card and it's under the file name mixer.csv. When we first initially started this we would say number of products number of ingredients. So we'll say okay. Um, then, in order to um, change this, we can change the names by going to the product one. We can right click that and we can enter our product name for that um, group. Also over here on our mixer and our ingredients, we can right click it. You will come up and it will actually show you the mixer, the ingredient name. And then we can assign a register to that ingredient. So we can actually sh uh, show that and see exactly what's going on. And then what we have is, um, you'll notice here if I do it with the second one, which is ingredient uh, A, again, I don't have to have consecutive registers. I can allocate them anywhere in the XL4 control memory. So what this is going to do is, as we select the recipe, we will get the corresponding values stored from the uh, SD card into our controller. So let's just close our recipe editor and we'll take a quick look at the program. This is the process mixer. 
what we'll do is it's the same as before. Um, we now have a time and we have a mixer time. We have ingredient uh, A, B, and C. Then we have an empty time. And then what we do is we use a load instruction or a load recipe instruction. And what that will do is it's going to load the product name, product one, into um, our controller when we first power up this unit. Because um, if we look here, this is our first scan flag. So we know we have a given. And then I've added some code at the end here just so that we can simulate this on our screen. So our first scan flag comes on and it automatically will load recipe one. So if I hit next, here is our tank and I have my mixing times right here. I can go to recipe itself and currently right now it's set for 30, 1, 2, and 3 which is exactly what we had before um, in our recipe itself. So let's go back to our process and we will hit F1 to start. It will then actually fill up the tank and then once the tanks filled a b c and the mixer will turn on for their designated time and then once our mixer uh, goes to 30 seconds it will actually then drain that tank and then the cycle will stop and that'll be the complete uh, or the end of the complete cycle In just about 30 seconds now. There we go. And now we are draining that tank. So that's the end of our cycle. Now if we go back into the recipe and you see that we have that load recipe instruction, if we hit it, then here's our products that we've named. We can go to product number two. We hit enter and you can see now our mixer time ingredient one two or a b and c have now changed values we can go back select three all right and again it changes uh, the values so this time it's 40 seconds for our mixer so let's go back we'll choose uh, mixer or product number two enter and then we'll go back to the process and now instead of 30 for the mixer time we're only going to have 20. So we'll hit that again, start. We can see the condition again starts up. We fill up the tank and once it's full, A, B, C and the mixer will turn on. Then again, they're gonna turn off in different sequences. And once we hit the 20 second mark, we will then empty the tank. Now the XL4, the actual recipes themselves, um, we can have 250 ingredients and 1,024 different products within that recipe to, uh, to, to do. So you see that's very easy um, and uh, Horner has made it very uh, practical for us to use this in our applications. All, right, all the links and documentation can be found right on our website. Uh, they can be downloaded at any time. And if you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. Give us a thumbs up so people can find this information. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of the video. You can also go to ACC Automation and subscribe to our website. Then you will be given notification every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also be giving, uh, get, you'll get some links to some free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third way to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Thanks for watching.